Hello everyone. Today we're going to be working on a value scale using paint. I apologize about my voice. Mrs. Belzer has a cold, so I'm going to try to talk as little as possible. You'll need your cardboard, your ruler, a pencil, and a sharpie to start the first part. We need to lay out our grid for where our colors are going to go. You'll need a total of seven boxes when you're done. So you have three shades, your hue or color, and then one, two, three tints. So seven boxes total. And I'm gonna mark that tint, hue, which is color, shade. And down below, we're going to make one extra box for tone. Put your name and your code in the corner. All right, to make this stand out, we're just going to trace it really quick with Sharpie. After you're done tracing, you'll get your painting supplies out, which will be a cup of water, paper towel and a brush. I'm using the square brush. And you'll need a paint tray, your hue or whatever color you're gonna use, white and black paint. Because we're going to need space to mix the colors, it's important that you only put just a little bit of the hue in. So put a couple drops in two of the wells and then you're going to put white in one of them and black in the last one. Okay. To get started, we'll take some of our red and put it in the center. That is our hue or our original color. I like to do the tint side first because it helps to keep the water and the brush a little cleaner. Whenever you're adding black, it gets a little tricky to start rinsing things out. So to do this tint, which is going to be like the darker of the tints, the one that's closer to red, you're going to grab a dab of the white and mix it in with your red and it should start to lighten. If you don't see a big difference, just go back and grab some more white. You can test it on the paper and you can see it's a little lighter. I might grab up just a little bit more. Okay. So I paint this square in and then I go back to my white Add some more, and if we want it out, you can always get more white, which I think I'm gonna have to do. Okay, so we're trying to get a lighter red, and I think actually I'm gonna paint this one over again, just to try to lighten that up a little bit. Okay, and then I'll get a refill on white, grab some more white, and keep trying to lighten this. For my other two squares. When you're done with the tint side, make sure that you wash your brush out really well. So swishing it in the water and because I have paint that's up higher, you need to use your paper towel and wipe too. Okay, the shade is the same thing, so grabbing, just start with small amounts. The black's gonna work a little bit better than the white, so you wanna be careful not to add too much black too fast. So already that's a, a big change compared to the tint side. So I'll get a little bit more. And then a little bit more. We're not worrying about craftsmanship right now. So if you go outside your lines a little bit, that's okay. I want you just to focus on your color mixing. All right, 
we'll wash our brush off for the last one it's tone tone is mixing your hue with a gray and so I have a lot of clean black left so I'll be able to make my gray but I'm out of clean red so I will need to get a drop of clean red I'm gonna make my gray first Okay, that's a nice one. And then I'll head back and grab a little bit of red and I'll just put a drop in and I'll grab it. Actually, I'll grab the gray and mix it in with the red. And you can see how this just gives you a, a different color altogether. It almost has like a little bit of a purpley tone to it. Okay, so when you're done, you should have seven separate shades like on your value scale from light to dark, and you also have the tone in a separate place. Make sure you clean your spot and put everything away when you're done.